Salt Lake City, President Trump on Monday drastically scaled back two national monuments established in Utah by his Democratic predecessors, the largest reduction of public lands protection in U.S. history. Trump's move to shrink the Bears Ears and Grand Staircase Escalante National Monuments by more than 1.1 million acres and more than 800,000 acres, respectively, immediately sparked an outpouring of praise from conservative lawmakers as well as activists' protests outside the White House and in Utah. The changes plunged the Trump administration into uncharted legal territory, as no president has sought to modify monuments established under the 1906 Antiquities Act in more than half a century. His decision removes about 85% of the designation of Bears Ears and nearly 46% of that for Grand Staircase Escalante, land that potentially could now be leased for energy exploration or opened for specific activities such as motorized vehicle use. Trump told a rally in Salt Lake City that he came to reverse federal overreach and took dramatic action because some people think that the natural resources of Utah should be controlled by a small handful of very distant bureaucrats located in Washington. And guess what? They're wrong. They don't know your land, and truly, they don't care for your land like you do, he said. But from now on, that won't matter. The two proclamations are the first in a series of major changes Trump intends to make to numerous monuments, which range from a forested patch of the Pacific Northwest to a stretch of the Atlantic Ocean off New England. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinka, who has reviewed more than two dozen sites established by Democratic and Republican presidents under an executive order Trump signed in April, said he would release his report on the study Tuesday. Zinka has recommended downsizing Oregon's Cascade Siskiyou and Nevada's Gold Butte National Monuments and shifting the way several others are managed, according to a copy obtained by the Washington Post. If these revisions are successfully sustained in court, they would redefine the extent to which future presidents could dictate that public lands remain untouched. Conservatives have long sought to curb a president's unilateral power to safeguard federal lands and waters under the law a practice that both Democrats and Republicans have pursued since it was enacted under Theodore Roosevelt. The issue has been a particular flashpoint in the West, where some residents feel the federal government already imposes too many restrictions on development, and others, including tribal officials, feel greater protections of ancient sites are needed. Even before Trump made the announcement as part of a day trip to the state, National Cattlemen's Beef Association President Craig Uden was hailing the resized designations. While grazing has continued on both monuments, as well as on others, Uden said ranchers could not have greater input into how they are managed. We are grateful that today's action will allow ranchers to resume their role as responsible stewards of the land and drivers of rural economies, he said. Republicans at the president's rally applauded him and his deputies for heeding their concerns.